Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Today we are making this book stand. Now this is something that was kind of popularized by André Roubaud, the uh, French woodworker from hundreds of years ago. And uh, he wrote this in his book and described how to make it. And then Roy Underhill uh, made it more popular in his show, The Woodwright Shop, and showing off a few things in that. And speaking of which, Roy Underhill's book, Calvin Cobb, goes perfectly on the stand. But today we're actually going to be making this out of some box elder. You get to see it with the red flame in there, and I get to throw my own little Celtic weave on there. I was inspired to do this because I found this the other day at a store that someone had made in the past. And you can tell they made it green, and it's all wonky and doesn't really sit well. But we're going to have some fun making this one today out of a single piece of wood, but making a hinge. How do you actually make that out of a single piece of wood? Let's dive in.
card scrapers now available on the website. I'll leave the link down below. Thanks for helping the channel. So there you have it. One little scrap piece of wood and you can make your book stand. This is a fun project that is, is great to experiment with. And uh, I had a lot of fun diving into it. Now I know a lot of people are gonna have questions about why did you do it this way? How'd you do that? And if you wanna go over to my second channel, Wood by Write 2, I actually do a voiceover of the whole thing where I talk about the steps and I talk about what I did, why I did it. And you can see a lot more of that thought process behind it and get a little idea of what actually goes into making this. So if you want to see more about that, go over there. I'll leave a link to that down below and up in the cards as well. Also, if you'd like to see the rendition by Roy Underhill, the author of Calvin Cobb, I'll leave a link to that down below, as well as all the tools and resources that I use. You can see those down below as well. So I hope you like this. I would love to hear your thoughts and ideas. Is there a project you'd like to see me do in the future? Is there something like this? Be like, oh, ooh, I'd love to see how you do that. Uh, let me know. So that's about it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. The only problem with the book stand is it really doesn't help me with my audiobooks.